Hey guys, Anthony here. A video tutorial on how to remove background noise in Audacity. Audacity is a free open source audio recorder and editor that I use often. And I'm going to show you a couple of examples of a hiss and a hum in the background. Here is an example of a hum in the background. This is a sample recording with a hum in the background. And here are the before and after audio tracks. Notice the background noise in the top track which has been removed in the bottom track. Similarly here is an example of a hiss in the background. This is a sample recording with a hiss in the background. And here again are the before and after audio tracks. Notice the background noise in the top track which has been removed in the bottom track. And now let me show you how to do so. So I've got the latest version of Audacity open here. In this example let me use the audio track with the hum in the background. So first we need to import the audio file. So I'm going to go to File and then Import and then Audio and then I'll choose the audio file and then click open. As you can see this is the same track that I showed you earlier. Now this one is a very short audio track just about 10 seconds but if you have a longer audio track you may need to use the zoom in and zoom out buttons and once you've zoomed in enough you will need to identify the area on the audio track that has only the background noise. A quick tip is when recording an audio, if possible, make sure to record only the background noise for at least 5 seconds. So for example, this area right here, as you can see, is just a background noise. So what I did was after I recorded the video, I just shut up and let it record just silence for about 5 seconds. So the first thing I'm going to do is, you know, highlight a good portion of the audio by using the mouse, like so. Then I'll go to the effect in the menu bar, right up top. And then I'll choose noise reduction. You will see two steps here. Step one is essentially to get a noise profile. So I'll click on this get noise profile button and because this audio track was just 10 seconds it did it very quickly. Next we need to select the full audio track and you can do that using Control and A on your keyboard or you can even double click on this track. Next we have to go back to effect and choose noise reduction once again. In step 2 we can adjust these settings but I'm going to leave them as default. In a separate video I'll explain what these settings mean. But for me these default settings work perfectly. Next you can preview the audio before you apply it by clicking this preview button. Essentially what it does is it plays a small portion of the audio. You can then click OK to apply the noise reduction and as you can see it has already reduced it quite a bit. But there is still some background noise left. So what you can do is again highlight Control A the whole track and then we can go back to the effect tab. This time we can just choose repeat noise reduction. And as you can see automatically now it has done that, applied the same profile and as you can see it's kind of flat line from where we were earlier. But if you highlight the area and if you play it using this play button right here, just watch this area right here as I play it. As you can see there's still some noise. So what you can do is you can just repeat the same process as in control A, select the whole track and then effect repeat noise reduction and it's done a much better job as you can see if I play it again 
as you can see it's almost completely gone and then once you're happy with the final audio it's time to export the audio file you would go to file and this time click export audio and then give it a file name here you will notice that I have the option to save it as an mp3 but if you've not downloaded the lame mp3 encoder you won't have this option I've created a separate tutorial to show you how to do so and then once you've done that you can click the save button I already have a file name so it's basically just giving me a warning if I want to replace it I'll just say yes and then you will see this dialog box here you can leave this blank if you want to or just complete these labels and then click OK now after I remove the background noise I also apply a couple of effects to enhance the audio for example in this audio track you can see that there are some unwanted sounds here I use the silence audio tool to clean the audio of these unwanted sounds I also apply the compressor effect as well as the normalize and amplify effects and I will share these tips in a separate video tutorial well hope you found this tutorial useful look for more audacity tutorials on my youtube channel and thanks for watching.